What is up YouTube? Silver Dragons here and in this video we're talking about silver. Now is there a silver shortage going on right now or is this just a myth? Because if there is a real silver shortage this could be absolutely insane timing. I mean right now the Fed is raising rates. At the next meeting they're supposed to raise rates by another 75 basis points and this is really bad for silver. Usually silver performs terribly when the Fed is in a tightening phase but eventually this phase is going to end and we could see silver really explode in price and if you couple that with a silver shortage the price could really go through the roof so what exactly is going on right now Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, before we talk about the silver shortage, first I want to let you know that I have partnered with Kalinex Mines to bring you this video. If the world runs out of silver, we're going to need more silver mines, and a lot of times these investments are high risk but high reward as well, so we'll talk about them and the awesome opportunity that they have but first let's talk about the silver shortage london silver inventories continue to plummet as metal exits lbma vaults there is an unprecedented situation emerging in london where the relentless hemorrhaging of one of the world's largest stockpiles of silver is now well and truly underway for the last nine months this stockpile of silver held in the lbma vault in London has been consistently falling each and every month and now has reached an all-time low since vault holding records began in July 2016 and here is the chart showing that they've now dropped below a billion ounces of silver in their vault and I know what you're thinking a billion ounces sounds like quite a bit but look at this trajectory look how fast it's moving down I mean things could get out of hand really soon they're literally at an all-time low low for LBMA silver holdings. Here is a look at the LBMA monthly silver vault data from January 2021 until present. So back in January 2021, they're still adding silver to their vault. But over the last nine months, silver has been flowing out of their vault, and it's been flowing out at a very rapid pace. But what about the COMEX? Surely they are not losing silver at an extremely rapid pace. Well, they actually are. As you can see down here, COMEX registered available for trading silver is nearing a five year low. Look at this recent trajectory. That's pretty crazy. And you may be wondering where is all of this silver going? If we look at the India silver imports, this is monthly imports. We're looking at July. We can see they imported over 1800 tons of silver so india silver imports definitely have now come back with the vengeance so what's the deal here i mean are we actually experiencing a silver shortage or are these vaults just at lower levels than they normally are i mean we've got the lbma in london we've got the comex over in usa honestly they're not experiencing a dramatic shortage yet. However, if the trajectory of silver flowing out of the vaults continues at the pace it is at now, then yeah, in the future, we will experience a real shortage of silver, and then we could see the price absolutely skyrocket. So it's not really at that point right now. Honestly, I feel like the biggest thing that could drive silver higher is the Fed slowing down with their tightening but either way look I'm putting more of my money into precious metals I got another unboxing that I'll be doing in a few days on my channel I think now is a great time to be accumulating more silver more gold while the price is low now when you invest in silver you could look at getting leverage over the spot price by investing in mining companies now this definitely is more high risk high reward however if you pick the right mining company it could be a a huge win it could be life-changing for you and 
today we're talking about Kalinex Mines. Their story and their opportunity is incredible. Now, before I talk about Kalinex Mines and their plans to succeed in the future, first I want to talk about another company who has recently invested in Kalinex, and their name is Altius Minerals. Now, this company is one of the biggest winners ever when it comes to mining companies. They started in 1997, and in their first 10 years, their share price went from 40 cents a share to $29 a share. That's a 70x gain. I mean, talk about high rewards, right? That's like putting in 15,000 and walking away with over a million. Now, Altius is essentially a royalty company, and they pick winners that's how they've done so well and they recently invested half a million dollars into Kalinex mines and they invested at over three dollars canadian a share and if you look at the stock price of Kalinex mines right now you could get in for cheaper than altius minerals did this is a huge discount now why did altius minerals decide to invest in Kalinex mines in the first place well number one they're located in canada in one of the friendliest mining areas in the world there's no political Political risk or otherwise for them being able to mine on their claims. And secondly, Kalinex made a massive discovery back in 2020 while drilling they found a VMS deposit. This is like the holy grail for miners. Their share price actually rose nearly 500% on the back of this news which proved that Kalinex had really high grades of copper, zinc, and silver in the ground on their claim. So in the past when Kalinex hit a successful drill hole their share price spiked up and guess what they're doing right now they're drilling in fact they're drilling around that successful drill hole to see where this vein is headed and if they have more successful drilling results in the future this could lead to their share price spiking up once again and lastly Kalinex mines is in a great position they have no debt and on their staff they have award-winning hall of fame geologists beyond that shares in this company are very tightly held in fact, the CEO and founder, Max Porterfield, and his immediate family own 10% of the company. All told, 25% of the shares are held by management and associates. In addition, 40% of the shares are held by institutions. So shares in Kalinex Mines are very tightly held, and these people are betting on the success of this company. So if you want to check them out for yourself and see if they're right for you and your portfolio, I will put a link down below in the description. Now, I do want to say a huge thank you to Kalinex Mines for partnering with me to help make this video possible. And to wrap this one up, I just want to end you with this. If we are going to have a big silver shortage in the future, then the big winners would be not only the people that hold physical silver, but also the miners. They would be in high demand as well. So if you're looking at investing in physical silver just by purchasing it, that is the safest way you can invest in silver silver. I call it silver stacking. Some people call it silver investing. But the bottom line is when you purchase physical silver, you can hold it in your hand and know that your wealth is protected. And if you want to see those big gains or you want to invest in something that's more high risk, high reward, then the mining companies are a great thing to look at. But make sure you always do your own due diligence when you're looking at these companies. Again, I want to say thanks to Kalinex. The link for their company will be down below in the description of this video. Lastly, I want to say a massive thank you so much to all of you for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Silver Dragons, out.